today on the farm we just got finished picking those sweet peas y'all saw me plant those sweet peas in an earlier video with my 4020 and the john deere 7000 planters i told y'all it was a second year of a field trial while i was trying different varieties this year early freezer and maestro were the best two varieties they more than tripled the other two varieties uh early freezer seemed to be the best but Ma maestro is pretty close i think next year I'm going to plant just those two varieties. I've now planted four different varieties two years in a row. I think we've determined what the best two varieties are. And next year, we're going to double down on just early freezer and maestro. These are my green beans. They are in full bloom, but I also have a few pods here and there hanging. These are the Blue Lake, Kentucky Blue Lake. And so they're a little bit longer seasoned than the Roma 2s. So not, a, not that many pods yet, mostly still blooms at this stage. These are the Roma 2s, and you see the pods are a pretty good size on these Roma 2s. They'll get wider and flatter than that. They're not mature yet. Still got some blooms on the plant. The Roma 2 plants don't get as big as the, the round beans. These are flat beans. These flat bean plants, so they're not as quite as big, a little bit smaller. They will yield really high, but the plant just, just doesn't get quite as tall or as wide. A lot of fruit on a very small plant. When you get over here into these blue lakes, much bigger plant. You can see right here, Roma 2, blue lake. The blue lake's much bigger plant. And it, it also will load up pretty heavy, but it takes a few more days, maybe, a, maybe another week, week and a half longer than the blue lakes and this is what we're working i mean than the roma twos this is what we're working with with the blue lakes they're still pretty good ways out i'd say i'd say we'll probably be picking roma twos in a week and we'll be picking these blue lakes in a week and a half two weeks tops two weeks tops i've already mowed the tops off my potatoes we're going to be digging them later this week and if you're wondering about those sweet peas when we're going to be selling them we will not be selling any sweet peas as previously mentioned the sweet pea seed came this year about a month and a half to two months later than normal i ordered my seeds typically in december and i was told by one of the many seed suppliers i use this year that if i want to keep ordering pea seed i need to order them in august of the previous year each and every year gets harder and harder to buy seeds for peas and butter beans and green beans all that kind of stuff last year green bean seeds took about two months to get here from the time i ordered them and this year with my peas i was told i need to order them a full eight to ten months before i need them because our sweet pea seed came in so late we planted them late and sweet peas do not like heat we get a lot of heat here early in the year and so my plants were exposed to too much heat and the yield was very 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 low we will consume all the sweet peas my own family we will consume all of them i may have a bushel or two but there's a line about a hundred deep that wants that one or two extra bushels so no no sweet peas for sale this year just how it happens sometimes this was only the second time I've ever planted sweet peas. They're not traditionally grown in this area. I didn't know if we could sell them when we planted them last year. I was told we could. And it turns out they're really easy to sell. So I've already started procuring the seed for next year. Crop to go on the ground around second week of January. It's about a 55 day crop. So if you want sweet peas next year, we should have you covered about first week of March, middle of March, somewhere, somewhere in that area. But for this year, here is the butter beans. They're already starting to set little micro pods up top, just above the flower. We're still a little ways out on the butter beans, but they are setting a good crop. This is the pea patch. It, some of y'all may think that's a lot of southern peas, but this is actually a lot smaller area than what I normally plant in southern peas. We got a few things going on differently this year i have planted mississippi brown crowder for the first time never grown those have a few requests and so i got a couple rows in right here on the edge and then we get into the zipper peas they make a big vine take over a lot of area 
I personally love the zipper peas. All my hand harvesters love the zipper peas. They fill up that bucket really quick. And if you are fortunate enough to get immature zipper peas harvested on this farm, you will order immature zipper peas from me from then on. The unfortunate part of, about it is I can't guarantee you immature peas. It's just the first, at the start of the season when they're picking them, they'll pick some immatures, and those are the finest peas on God's earth, immature zipper peas, best peas on earth. In this area, we've moved into the top pick creams. They are a lot more bush-like and a lot less vine-like. The, the, the zipper is kind of a semi-bush, semi-vine, but the top pick cream is a straight-up bush plant. Uh, sets a heavy crop set right up top. It's usually two to three flushes of peas, which isn't ideal when you machine harvest. You want one flush. But if you could hand pick that first light crop out and then farm there with a machine, it works out if you got the hand labor. But they said all the peas right up top, super easy to pick. This is top pick cream. And then this right here is Sedandy. Sedandy is probably my favorite variety to grow. They make a real small, small cream pea. A lot of y'all come to me wanting lady fingers or elites. The Sedandy is better than both. It's better than the Elite because Elite doesn't grow as small a pea as they advertise. I've grown Elites and the pea just isn't quite small enough to satisfy my customers. The Ladyfinger is the smallest pea. However, you can't pay anyone to pick them and the machine won't pick them either. So yes, you can sell them. You can sell them blindfolded, standing on one leg with two hands behind your back, but you can't get them picked. So what's the point in growing them if you can't pick them? Right here, we're stepping into the edge of the pink eye purple holes and i will i'll get this this is a quick pick purple hole i will machine pick them but i will also have some hand labor in here picking these this crop here will make a heavy 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 yield it will be the first pea to get picked of all the peas we planted they're a lot quicker season they're not blooming yet but these these pink eye purple holes when they get ready that they, they'll take off They'll, they'll be ready a good week, a week and a half before any other pea will. And that's where we'll start picking peas this year, right there. The corn is just about head high on me. Not real tall yet. It, it may double this height, but it is coming right along nice and smooth. The soybeans are up and growing good. We got a good stand. Unfortunately, Friday we did get uh, three inches of rain in two hours. And so there was a spot right over that rise right there where water stood for a little for several days and there's another spot way out there in the middle where water stood for several days even though we have drain tile in the field it couldn't suck off all that water so i'm going to replant some small areas but we got a good stand out of the initial planting out here and the soybeans are coming along fine any of y'all that have grown up around a peanut farm will instantly recognize what's going on out here there's a bunch of cracks in this field and that is a good sign if you're a peanut farmer this is what it looks like when peanuts are coming up they crack the ground and there them boys are they coming so this whole field here is starting to crack I got one more field to plant. I can't plant it yet. I was hoping to plant it on Monday. Today's Tuesday. But like I said, we had a big rain event. There's water standing in that field. I got to let it dry down just a little bit more. I hope to get it planted later this week. And that will be the last field I had to plant this year. Not the last thing I have to plant, though. We're going to plant some deer food plots to try to keep the deer out of here. I just ran two deer out of here. The peanuts aren't even up. And I'm already running deer out. You can see all the deer tracks on the ground. When I tell y'all we got a deer problem in South Georgia, we got a bad deer problem. It's not unusual to see 30 or 40 deer standing in this field on an average day hanging out. Not unusual at all. So down here below this field in the woods, I'm planting sun hemp and soybeans, iron clay peas down in the woods, try to keep the deer in the woods and out of the field. A lot of y'all been asking about the potatoes. I have already mowed the tops off of my potato plants. I do that so that the potatoes will set the skin. If you mow the tops off, it'll reduce moisture. The plant will die and those roots, those potatoes will dry up just a little bit and it will make that skin set on them and stay. So if I were to go out there and just dig my potatoes up, my red Pontiacs, my Kennebecs, 
without first killing the tops, mowing them off, the skin would wipe off with your hand. Uh, super easy, it'd wipe off during the digging process, it'd wipe off when you're cleaning them, and then you get your taters home, you clean them, and it had no skin on them. Nobody wants that. So, I mow my tops off, I give it three to four days, the skin sets, it firms up, and then we dig them, bag them, and we sell them to you. So I hope to have potatoes for sale this weekend. We got a few commercial buyers come by uh, late this week. I'm gonna put the rest of them in the cooler. And we, when we start uh, picking those green beans, we're gonna sell potatoes and green beans at the same time. That's it for the crop update. I thank all of y'all for watching. I hope to see you next time.